Um, I told you, Rachel, that. Okay, good. And now we see a number to the uh, end, and it's got a polynomial with it as well. I should tell you where she test right away. What's the other thing? Can you say that again? Sure. I said anytime you've got a number to the end, like you do right here, and it's got a polynomial present as well, I should tell you ratio test. Okay. okay. Uh, there's also another thing that should tell you ratio test. You know what that other thing is? Mm. Factorials. Mm. Oh, okay. All right. So now that we know it's ratio test, what does the general ratio test tell us? Uh, li limit as n goes to infinity of absolute value of a of n plus one over a of n. Okay. And then if I plug in a an n plus one everywhere I see an n. Um, n plus one squared plus one over two n plus one plus one. Right? Yeah. Now, are you okay if I just go ahead and multiply by the reciprocal or do you want me to just divide it by the initial? Oh, I'm sorry. No, that's fine. That's fine. We'll, we'll, we'll take it the step by step. Let's be pretty much about this. So absolute value is not gonna make a difference in this case because uh, there's no negative. It's already equation. positive, yeah. So now if I multiply by the reciprocal, you get that? Now what do you suggest we do? Um, maybe simplify two to the n plus two. Okay. Try to make it similar to two to the n plus one. Or actually we could rewrite um, both of them. Um, like two like two to the n times two and then two to the n times two squared. Uh, how about we do it? You could do it like that, or we've got two like bases being divided. What's the rule for the exponents? Um they subtract. So either way, you get the same answer. So what you're saying to do is to do it like this, which you can do it that way. That's the way you can look forward with it. Uh, right? Mm -hmm. Did the ends cancel? Just one. Yes. Okay. You would have gotten the same thing had you done top exponent minus the bottom exponent. Mm -hmm. Ends cancel. Seems to make it one. Okay. Uh, but now, who let us simplify? Um, can't you just... Um... Write out n plus one squared. And okay. Then just, so it'd be n squared plus two n plus two. Plus one plus two. Plus two n squared plus two. And then um, that infinity over infinity, which is indeterminate. So I factor out n squared. And then I factor out n squared out the top of my left. One plus two divided by n plus two divided by n squared. And then on the bottom? Two plus two divided by n squared. And then the ones with the constant over a um, polynomial which goes to zero. So then it's just one half. Less than one? <laughs> so um, it converges um, absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> but if you only wrote that, you would only get partial credit. You have to write uh, by um, ratio. Okay. okay. Any questions over that? Um, no, I just I like the trick that you can or you reminded me the exponent rule where you if you're dividing, you can just yes. subtract them. Sometimes that's yeah, calculus that's even that. our, our algebra skills. All right, mm -hmm. ready for the next one? Mm 